just one more thing. <laughs> so I, I totally skipped a little section of my notes because I didn't show you. How do we update? How do we do anything in the database when we've got it set up this way? Because if we try, well, let me let me uh, show you. So if we go to the form, let's let's change this index form, and instead of doing what we're doing, just print out the the um, you know this information, this default information. Let's actually go build a little form, and we're using the view bag. I think I'm going to switch actually. Let's actually use that uh, model binding. So I'll say var blah, and then pass down the blah to the view. We've already got the code in the view to bind it to the, the manager object. And then I'm going to take this out and I'll just build me a little form like we've done. So I'll say form. The method is going to be equal to post. So when we post, this is the same thing that we've done in the past. And then we'll just, you know, luckily this, this database is terrible in its structure and we can just do whatever we want to. So I'm just going to grab three fields. So label ASP4 and the first one is going to be that uh, player ID that we looked at. So we'll just say player ID. Okay. And then we'll put the, the actual input and ASP4. Whoa, that was not even close. ASP4 player ID. And why do we do it again in the input and in the label? It's because if we click on the label, it will take us to the input box. And so it's just a nice little thing to do for the users, at, particularly on mobile devices as they fumble around with their fingers to try and uh, you know tap on something, that if we tap the label, it'll take us to that input box. So then I'm gonna do one more label and the other information in there. So if I go to that manager's table, we have a a year and a team ID. So let's just do those three. Player ID, year ID, and team ID just in the interest of time. So this one will be uh, the year ID and that'll be ASP4, the year ID, okay, and then input ASP4, the year ID. Okay. Hey, I was ex excited as you to be done in that last video. I thought I was done. And I thought, wait a second, I didn't even talk about a whole thing that we needed to talk about. So we're on the same same uh, team. All right, oh, team ID, there you go. Uh, team ID, okay. And then input as before. This is still a lot of typing. I should have just done two fields. They don't have any restrictions on what we have to enter. Nothing's the primary key, like no auto number, nothing. I mean, we could do whatever we want to. This is great. All databases should be designed this way. So we've got those three fields, right? And typically what would happen is when, oh, we need a button to submit though. So let's do a break and then a, a, a button and the type is going to be submit, okay? So we've got our little form like we've had in the past. And I'm gonna close out some of these windows. Um, so we're going to get this submitted. So typically what we do is we then create in the home controller, we'd say, well, this one is the, the HTTP get. And this one we're gonna create is going to be the HTTP post but it's gonna have the same exact name. So public I action result index, okay. And then, uh, but the difference is gonna be that this one's gonna receive an object of type manager that we'll just refer to as M, how about? All right, so then in here, as we, uh, get done, so, so as the user has entered something and submitted it, then of course, you know, we've learned now that we can say if model state equals valid is valid, then we're gonna go save the changes. So I can say, go out to my uh, repo and save changes. Now I'm gonna pick up right here that is not IntelliSensing for me. There is no such thing as save changes in the repo. There's no method. So how do I save my changes now? And then we, oh, we typically would have said uh, before that actually, repo.add, 
and again there's no add method but we're going to go add in that object we can't do that anymore because we're not accessing the context file and so this is where we, we need to go make a modification so we're going to go into our uh, interface and say well one of the things we're going to allow them to do is to add a manager so I'm going to create a public method that doesn't return anything called add manager and it says well it just guesses on what we wanted to do and it's right I'm going to take a type of manager that I'm going to pass in that we can just refer to as manager now as soon as I save this when I go to my EF baseball repository then it's going to get an error again and it says wait a second you have not implemented the interface add manager so again I can have it take a stab at it and it will put in a method that says add manager of type manager and here is where I can say go out to the context file and add whatever was just passed into me in that manager object and then after you've done that save the changes so now there's an add manager method that's part of this repository and so on the home controller side I can just say instead of doing both of those things I can instead just say underscore repo uh, and then we just call that add manager method and pass to it this object that's come from the form and then it's going to yell at us because it wants us to send it somewhere let's just send it back to the return to the view with a blank uh, manager so that we see something happen when we do this so now I can go run this and I'm currently running it locally I don't know what, why it went back I should change that to run on IS Express but it, oh it's loading up the data in the first place with with the record that came in and then oh my submit button doesn't actually say anything let me fix that trying to hurry too fast again it's a common thing submit so I've got a record here now this is gonna add a record so we probably ought to I was loading it up with that data we don't want to actually pass in that data do we on a new one let's let's do this right so we will give it a new manager when we create this form for the first time when we get it we're not editing here so we want it to be a new manager which means this doesn't actually even come into play anymore that would be more of an edit type situation right so I have this field that all it's going to do is load up a blank manager and then I run this, I put in a, a player ID, apparently I've done this in a little test. Spencer out, year, the year 1900, old, oldie time player. The team ID, uh, 413, IS 413. And then when I submit, well, the database is going to take care of us. It says, you don't even have a primary key in this database. What are you doing? And that is true. We don't have a, a primary uh, key. Unable to tack track the instance. Okay, we may just have to leave this one a mystery because the database is crap. Now, Mr. Lehman, it's not the data. Whoever built this SQL light version of the data that doesn't have any primary keys or whatever, then that is the thing that's crap. And so, uh, if you're watching this, I apologize profusely for saying the database itself is crap. It's the database design that's crap. And so we can't actually add it. But in, in your database where you build the database with good design, you absolutely will be able to add it this way. And then we do the same thing with the delete or whatever else we're doing. It just now has a middleman. Uh, do we say middle person these days? Um, to pass the information in from the controller to that repository which updates that context file. All right, I think we're really done this time. Spencer, out.